सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सिक्स इंडिविजुअल स्पोर्ट्स सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट थ्री स्किल्स द सेवन बेसिक स्किल्स आर स्टांस मोशन लेवल चेंज पेनिट्रेशन लिफ्टिंग बैक स्टेप बैक आर्च स्टांस while in the neutral standing position some wrestlers prefer a square stance please check figure 6.25 and others prefer a staggered stance please check figure 6.26 either stance can work equally well the wrestler should not stand straight up or leave herself or himself open to a take down from the opponent An effective stance always prepares the wrestler for a quick attack and proper defense. Figure 6.25. It shows how a square stance looks like. In this figure, there is an image which shows a wrestler with bent knees and his hands lunging forward. Figure 6.26. Wrestling stance staggered. In this figure, we can see image of two wrestlers were bent at their waist with their foreheads touching each other and they are ready to lunge any time page number 77 motion wrestling involves a tremendous amount of motion wrestler may circle their opponent the wrestler may attack their opponent with a take down attempt they may also snap the opponent to the mat and spin around behind him or her The wrestler may also sprawl to defend against a takedown and need to learn to move fluidly and quickly. All the movements need to be explosive and crisp. Figure 6.27 Wrestling motion. In this figure we can see one wrestler with his knees on the ground while the other is holding on to him from the back. Level change. Before a wrestler shoots a takedown, he or she must lower his or her level. This is accomplished by lowering his or her hips. When a wrestler sprawls to counter a takedown, he or she is also using level change. In addition, a wrestler may lower and raise his or her level to force a reaction from his or her opponent. A wrestler needs to be able to maintain good posture while changing levels. For instance, a wrestler sometimes overextends when shooting a takedown because he or she forgot to lower his or her level first. A wrestler should always bend at the knees, not at the waist. Figure 6.28 Wrestling level change. The figure has an image where we can see two wrestlers. One wrestler is ready for takedown. As we can see, he has lowered his hips. while the other one is just slightly bent penetration when a wrestler shoots for a takedown on his or her opponent he or she does not merely reach for the opponent's legs or dive wildly for the opponent's legs he or she makes sure to be close enough to the opponent and then takes a deep penetration step keeping the back straight and head up lower the level and penetrate deeply always make it sure to keep the hips forward and lower the shoulders while driving through the opponent figure 6.29 wrestling penetration in the first image on the left side one of the wrestlers is about to take down his opponent in the second image we can see he has put down the other wrestler on the ground the second wrestler is on his hips page number 78 lifting A wrestler often lifts his opponent off the mat when executing a takedown as shown in figure 6.30. He or she may also lift an opponent who has performed a stand up from the bottom position. The wrestler lifts his or her opponent and returns to the mat. The legs and the hips are most important to when lifting. For instance, when a wrestler shoots a double leg, he or she does not lift with the back. he or she gets the hip squarely down and then uses the leg and hip strength to lift the opponent off the mat when a wrestler has been lifted off the mat he or she is in a very vulnerable position lacking support and balance figure 6.30 wrestling lifting 
in this figure we have an image where a wrestler has lifted the opponent on his shoulders he is in complete charge of his opponent the other wrestler is lacking support and is trying to find balance by touching the ground with his fingers assessment answer the following questions question number 1 write down the history of badminton game question number 2 write any five rules of badminton game question number 3 write down the dimensions of the badminton court question number 4 how do games and sports help to improve health fitness question number 5 list down the gymnastic events for men question number 6 list down the gymnastic events for women question number 7 which motor abilities can be developed through gymnastics? Question number 8. Write a short history of judo. Question number 9. Draw a diagram of judo competition area with all specifications. Question number 10. What is judogi? Question number 11. What is the name of the apex body which controls the judo all over the world? Question number 12. List down the names of swimming strokes. Question number 13. Explain the technique of any stroke of your choice. Question number 14. How does swimming help to improve the physical fitness of an individual? Question number 15. Which motor abilities improve swimming performance? Question number 16. Write any five important rules of the table tennis game. Question number 17. How can playing table tennis help us in the improvement of our health? Question number 18. Which fundamental skill did you enjoy the most in table tennis game and why? Page number 79. Question number 19. Explain any one fundamental skill of table tennis. Question number 20. Briefly describe the history of wrestling. Question number 21. What is Pachter? Question number 22. What is the duration of a wrestling bout? Question number 23. What is the ordered position in wrestling? Question number 24. Collect information about national and international gymnasts with their photographs and write about them. Question number 25. If you are a swimmer, write down about how you enjoy it. If not, ask any of your friends who has a swimming experience of pond, river or pool about his or her experience. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. Measurement of badminton court for singles is dash. Number 2. Measurement of badminton court for doubles is dash. Number 3. Height of the net from the floor is dash. Number 4. Rhythmic gymnastics was included in Olympic Games in dash at dash. Number 5. Measurement of flow for flow exercises in gymnastics is dash meter. Number 6. Judo was included in Olympic Games in dash. Number 7. The judo platform is of 18 meter by dash. Number 8. The meaning of Ritsure dash. Number 9. The meaning of Zare dash. Number 10. The meaning of Migi Kumikata dash. Number 11. The meaning of Hidari Kumikata. Fill in the blank dash. Number 12. The meaning of Shintai. Dash. Number 13. The meaning of Sugiyashi. Dash. Number 14. The meaning of Ayumiyashi. Dash. Number 15. Standard swimming pool should be of dash meter length and dash meter width. Number 16. There are dash lanes in standard swimming pool. Number 17. Width of a swimming lane is dash. Number 18. Height of the starting platform of a swimming pool should be dash. 
नंबर 19 टेंपरेचर ऑफ वाटर इन अ स्विमिंग पूल शुड बी आइडियली डैश नंबर 20 हाइट ऑफ द टेबल टेनिस टेबल फ्रॉम फ्लोर इज डैश नंबर 22 हाइट ऑफ द नेट फ्रॉम सरफेस ऑफ द टेबल इन टीटी इज डैश नंबर 23 लेंथ ऑफ द नेट टीटी इज डैश नंबर 24 circumference of the tt ball is dash and weight is dash number 25 measurement of wrestling mat is dash number 26 the measurement of the mat area in wrestling is dash in length and dash in width number 27 the diameter of the central circle in wrestling is dash number 28 the diameter of the yellow circle in a wrestling area dash page 80 tick mark either yes or no number 1 four players are required to start a game in badminton number 2 international badminton federation ibf was founded in 1934 number 3 player can leave the court in badminton at any time number 4 Breadth of badminton net is two feet six inches. Number five, height of the badminton net from floor is five feet. Number six, uneven bar is a men's event. Number seven, balancing beam is a women's event. Number eight, pommel horse is a men's event. Number nine, parallel bars is a men's event. Number ten. International Gymnastic Federation was founded in the year 1881. Number 11. The first school of judo was started in 1882. Number 12. Judo was included in the Olympic Games in 1968. Number 13. Professor Jigoro Kano started the first school of judo. Number 14. Judo is a sport of European origin. Number 15. Shijan Tai means posture. Number sixteen, Ukemi means breakfall. Number seventeen, Ushiro means back. Number eighteen, Mei means front. Number nineteen, Kake means execution. Number twenty, Kuzushi means breaking the balance. Number twenty-one, Can a swimmer change the lane after a start? Number twenty-two, there are four strokes in swimming. Number twenty-three, a freestyle swimmer has to perform a similar type of movement. Number twenty-four, a backstroke swimmer is not allowed to take rollover turn. Number twenty-five, table tennis game was invented in nineteen seventy-nine. Number twenty-six, player in the table tennis can be substituted at any time. Number twenty-seven, player in table tennis can leave the game at any time. Number twenty-eight, every player in table tennis has to change ends after each game. Number twenty-nine, wrestling is an outdoor sport which is played on the ground. Number thirty, the wrestlers come to shake hands in the center of the mat in red and blue color. Number thirty-one. The women freestyle wrestling was introduced in 2004. Number 32. Every bout contains 3 round of 2 minute each. You were just listening to this audio book. Narrator Neeraj Yadav, technical coordinator Bati Langlingdo, sound recordist Vikas Sangwan, assistance in production Ruchi Sharma, directed and produced by Vimalesh Choudhary. This audio book is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi India